Tony, what did you tell your guys in the timeout before Daniel's second free throw there? Yeah, if he made it, we had an action set up. And if he missed it, we said, you know, get the rebound, push, and um, attack. If you, you know, know the score, if you can get to the rim, get to the rim. If you can't, get a good shot. And it was a, a little bit scramble. We didn't have any timeouts left. Um, so, and I, you know, everybody was, I, he, he didn't get fouled. I kind of watched the replay as I was half shaking hands with the other team, and I, I, it didn't look like he got fouled. So it really was to set something up. If he made it, time score, get an action. And if he missed, it was, you know, if you got the ball and you got an alley attack, and either go at the rim, and if you can't, try to find an open shot. Okay. Mike. Tony, you went with the tighter, shorter bench for most of the game. Then when you brought Kafaro in, he gave you a big yeah. spark. What did he do for you, and why was that a good spot for him? Yeah, I thought he, um, you know, I thought a highlight was how uh, Poppy played, um, and Casey. I thought those two guys gave us nice lifts today. Um, I think where we where we lost the game, you know, we, we left, we missed some pretty close ones. Bunnies had some unfortunate turnovers, but I think the start of the second half for us defensively was not a good start. Good offense by them. They made some tough shots, but, but our defense was not where it needed to be. And then as down as it was, then it turned around and then it got right. And, you know, Poppy came in and I thought he did a really good job on ball screen defense, bouncing guys out, got some tough finishes, made his free throws. You know, you look at Markel's stat line and had to hold him to seven points is a good job for sure. And I thought Poppy brought, um, you know, a physicality, but he did a really good job, whatever the word you want to use, hedging, impacting that high ball screen, and then we reset. And then everybody really buckled down defensively, and we got enough stops, got the lead. You know, we've been in that spot. Um, and then they made a couple tough shots down the stretch. You know, one time we got lifted and we gave up an offensive rebound. So. Uh, those those things are kind of where it's at. But Poppy and Casey did a good job, but that's where I thought Poppy really helped us. The two three-pointers, you, you mentioned those, they seem to be pretty well defended. Were they just guys hitting tough shots at state hit? Um, I think so. Um, yeah, I think one of them was, was pretty good, pretty well. They weren't great, but they no, I think they were contested. I'm trying to remember the second one clearly, but the one that I thought hurt, um, you know, it was they were scrambling. We were working, and um, you know they couldn't get to the lane. And they, yeah, they made a couple plays. That's what you have to do down the stretch to win. When it gets to that time, someone's got to jump up and make make some big plays and score a, a bucket or two. And and um, they did that. Yeah, Kihei cut the timeouts in the second half, but had again had some timeouts in the first half. What does he, what would you like to see him? Oh, turnovers. Okay, sorry. Sorry, no, no, turnovers. No, sorry. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. I, you know, he, he's got to be aggressive, get in there. We, I thought we had a really good game against Georgia Tech of when we got in there, either we played off two or we didn't make, you know, um, one-handed momentum passes. And I thought, not just Kihei at times, I thought, you know, those the first half they had 10 points off of turnovers. And that that's hard for us to absorb. You know, you look at it, and we shot 36% from two or for the game and 25 from three, and we still have a chance. So. You, you have to be, your margin of error shrinks even more with that. So then those live ball turnovers, like pick sixes, you know, they lead to 10 points in the first half. It was better in the second half, for sure. Um, and then, again, if you have some bad lapses defensively for stretches, that's, that's enough. So uh, we found a way. It was hard. We found a way to at least get to where we got the lead. Um, but it's certainly um, some growing pains. Coach, it seemed like at times that you guys struggled, especially at the start with their um, press early on in the game. What would you tell your guys on how to respond to that and really how to get past guys like Beverly? And you Yeah, know? you said their press or their? Yeah, their press. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, they kind of do it, I think, to slow you up and have you go against a shorter clock. So you just want to try to spread the floor and get into your offense as quick as you can and attack. You know, they were switching some ball screens um, with their foreman, then they didn't. And, um, you know, they... Um, I thought we got the ball to the right spots, but again, some bunnies or whatever you want to call them, we just we couldn't put in, and those are valuable points. Thanks. Tony, what kind of <clears throat> what kind of sense do you get of how this rough patch is affecting the team's confidence? Oh, I mean, I, I you know, confidence is something you gotta you gotta earn, you gotta get. I thought they they um, they did a good job against Georgia Tech to to hold on to win wasn't perfect, um, but. It's yeah, I, I think it challenges you. So that's our job again as coaches, and it's just to stay together and keep working, and 
and not be distracted um, because, again, this league is whoever's ready and right has a chance to win. And again, we know our, our margin for error is smaller than it's usually been. But um, I gotta, what else can you say? It's kind of the same message. Keep your head up. Let's keep working. And um, I think they'll take, hopefully, their lead from, from us, how we work, how we respond with them. And it's a, it's, it's a tremendous opportunity to you know, lead, coach, teach, and try to improve. I think we're improving in little ways, but it's not showing it um, in the win-loss column. I did against Georgia Tech. Um, and then you, know, you, you highlight the things like what Poppy and Casey did. Those were good two, two first years stepping out there and doing some good things. So, um, but for sure, you, you're going you're gonna to question at times. And then you say, all right, now we get back to it. It's all I know how to do, Hank. <laughs> Tony, you blocked six shots. I think five or all of them were in the first half. Uh, how important can that element of room protection be with some maybe younger guys on the, on the head of that yeah. defense? I think we got a couple blocks. Didn't Mamani have that one uh, barrage in the second half where he blocked a couple? So I think we had, I thought you said we had all our blocks in the first half. Doesn't matter. Um, the rim protection's huge. It was big against Georgia Tech. You know, guys are pretty quick with the dribble, and we are. We do have some size, so if we can bother shots and block shots, you know, that, that helps us. Um, we didn't turn. We have one maybe transition point off of a, a play, but we didn't get down the floor as much. At times, I thought we looked a little fatigued. I think they did, too. You know, that's our third game in six days. Um, and, but we got good lifts from guys that, you know, were fresher. But, um, but shot blocking will be big because that erases a lot of mistakes. Tony, you, you mentioned a minute ago that, that Casey gave you a nice lift. What's, what's been your conversations with him? What do you feel like you need from him on a night-to-night -night basis when sometimes you might, he might play this many minutes versus yep. that many minutes? What do you feel like you need from him when you, when you call on him? Keep playing. Show heart. Don't get discouraged. Don't get down on yourself. Uh, play as hard as you can and then, you know, with some smarts. And, and I thought he did that. He guarded hard. He, he made a couple tough shots. Um, it's, it's a really, you know, as I mentioned after the Georgia Tech game, certain, a lot of guys are getting put in spots that they're getting thrown into the fire. And it's challenging, but it's the best thing for their games and their future if they can withstand it. And that's why the message to them is, is you just keep locking in. Now, you know, we're trying to, trying to get it done and, uh, you know, win games. But I know this will um, produce some fruit later on and a little bit of a painful process. But I, I liked how he responded. And there's a lot of games left. And that's so you just show up. We get a day off. We'll show up and uh, get ready for our next opponent. Last one, Eric. Uh, Tony, I realize it's kind of a dumb question. But I mean, then you shouldn't point, ask three, it. Three-point shooting is such a, it's been such a big part of your success here. Yep. And the, the sample size is growing here in this sure. season. Uh, what, what can be done about it? I mean, how concerned are you about it? And can you win consistently if you don't, if you don't have that element? Yeah, no, it's hard. I, you know, we, we got pretty good looks. Um, and we didn't take quite as many today. Um, try to balance it out. We're trying to, you know, either get some ba baskets off turnovers, go in the lane, um, different score in the paint or at least touch the paint. But uh, you still got to shoot them when they're there. And, um, you know, Thomas hit some in the last game. And, uh, but that, it's hard, as I said, that's where your margin of error shrinks when you look at our shooting percentages. And you gotta be so right in all those other areas. And, um, but it's not for the lack of you know, working at the shots and trying to get good shots, but it does, it makes it hard, but you, know, you look at it and keep trying to find ways. We <laughs> say what you want, and maybe every game we've lost in ACC play, we could have won, we've had chances. So you're, you're close, maybe it's not as close as it feels like, but uh, you're close. And, I, I'm trying to be hopeful that all right, we're going to stick a few of those, but um, but we'll keep plugging.